Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera, Nihoma Vanakam. Pertama sekali terima kasih kepada rakan-rakan media. Uh, saya ingin minta maaf kerana uh, PC ini tangguh selama 15 minit. Tadi pun saya dapat beberapa mesej daripada rakan-rakan media lain kata tunggu sebab ni memang last minute kan. Eh. Nanti pun saya akan terangkan kenapa je last minute. Uh, PC ni berkaitan dua perkara mustahak. Pertama berkenaan update laporan polis yang telah pun saya buat di IPD Subang uh, dalam pukul 11.30 pukul 12 sampai pukul 2. Um, kedua berkenaan jawapan terhadap Tuh Mahan yang dibuat ke atas saya berkaitan tawaran uh, daripada University Oxford. Bab ni saya rasa sekejap je lah tapi saya pun tak tahu kenapa boleh jadi isu Kalau saya nak tipu-tipu Oxford ni oh, bukan main-main lah <laughs> Boleh check senang lah So pertama berkenaan update lah um, Seperti rakan-rakan tahu um, Yang saya maklumkan pun pada PC pada hari Senin um, Pihak di sebelah sana memang ada Ugut Dan ugutan tersebut ditujukan kepada ahli keluarga saya khususnya Ayah saya dan juga abang saya um, Selepas PC itu dibuat Pada hari tersebut Pihak tersebut tidak menghubungi saya langsung Tetapi apa yang saya boleh maklumkan Selepas tadi berbincang dengan pihak polis Ada beberapa perkara yang saya boleh maklumkan uh, Pada pukul 1 Dalam pukul 1 pagi hari ini Saya dapat Melalui saluran yang saya tak boleh maklumkan sekarang Sebab ni masih di bawah pindah polis Beberapa gambar yang agak sensitif Yang berunsur ugutan Sebelum ini ke atas ayah dan abang saya sahaja Tetapi sekarang ke atas saya juga So in total no me, my brother and my father lah um, memang satu malam tak boleh tidur tapi bila bangun saya terus buat laporan polis Alhamdulillah pihak polis pun banyak membantu so tadi baru bincang dengan mereka dalam tempoh masa sejam ke dua jam malam ni pun ada lagi sekali so ada tiga sesi eh. selepas ni pun 8.30 so, lagi satu dalam midnight lah midnight saya pergi lagi sekali Bukan ke, sebab tadi pergi IPD Subang Saya dimaklumkan one more time kena pergi ke Balai Subang Saya tak pasti perbezaannya tapi adalah nombor telefon uh, inspektor tersebut To finalize everything sebab ini isu yang agak serius Setakat ni saya tidak boleh dedahkan semua perkara Kalau lah sangat, Sebab it's a lot more uh, personal Dia bukan, berunsur, dia bukan ugutan bunuh eh. Bukan ugutan bunuh, ugutan pukul bukan Tapi ia lebih kepada isu peribadi um, Untuk menggertak saya dan keluarga saya Untuk berhenti mendedahkan perkara-perkara yang bersangkut paut Dengan mereka di sebelah sana um, So saya akan cuba dapat uh, nasihat penuh daripada pihak polis Buat masa ni, itu saja yang boleh saya maklumkan uh, Cuma saya nak berterima kasih lah Dari pihak polis kerana banyak bantu Saya juga berharap bah, uh, Tadi pun Mula-mula saya ingat boleh tunjuk uh, Laporan polis tu Tapi Tahulah bila buat laporan polis tu Nanti kena perincikan juga Apa jenis bahan yang mereka ada <laughs> nah, Tak boleh cakap gambar je Kena perincikan gambar berkenaan apa Sebab itu saya minta maaf saya tak boleh tunjuk sekarang Itu tetap saya kena Bincang dulu dengan pihak polis apa tindakan susulan dari mereka dan dari saya Dan dari peguam saya untuk selesaikan isu ini sebaik yang mungkin Tetapi Pendirian saya sebab tadi pun bila saya tahu benda tu saya terus hubungi ayah saya Abang saya saya tak dapat nak hubungi sebab dia di Dubai um, Sebab ni very personal um, Ayah, insya Allah okay. Cuma abang tak dapat lagi lah makanan ini sini. Um, nanti kalau dah dapat lebih maklumat terutamanya 
Kena isu ni saya akan cuba dahkan sebaik mungkin lah Final thing nak cakap This is a typical fear tactic um, If they think that this will silence me, they are wrong Kalau mereka ingat bahawa Taktik yang begitu jijik ini Akan menakutkan saya Mereka salah Saya tetap akan bertindak Selepas buat laporan polis Ni dah buat, lepas tu ni malam ni ada dua kali Selepas dah dapat persetujuan dari pihak polis, dapat maklumat dari mereka dan juga nasihat dari mereka Akan ada tindakan susulan, contoh kalau mereka Advice untuk pergi buat laporan SPRM, saya akan buat apa-apa jenis lagi laporan Sebab mungkin, saya tak tahu kalau ada, mungkin dia juga bertindih dengan salah guna kuasa Itu juga kalau pihak polis nasihatkan buat kuasa tersebut, saya akan ikut uh, I think there are the professionals in this particular field dan Sekarang pun mereka banyak membantu dari segi tersebut So that's uh, on that front eh, berkenaan uh, laporan polis yang telah pun dibuat Yang kedua berkenaan uh, jawapan ke atas Tuan Mahanah berkenaan isu Oxford ni Saya tahu mungkin rakan-rakan media dah nampak, saya, saya pun baru dapat semalam Tahu wah semut sama benda lah, yang ada macam poster je tulis tarikh-tarikh yang berlainan ni eh Benda ni simple je, sebabnya saya percaya banyak uh, students Malaysia di UK je tahulah benda ni uh, Sebab in office letters that's quite common So, pertama, obviously the first surat yang sampai bukan melalui uh, physical copy, dia datang online That's why you message online first In order for the first letter to arrive, it takes about a month Sebab tu je ada perbezaan eh, dari segi bila saya terima and when is the final date or due date dekat, dalam, uh, dekat surat tersebut Sebab dia hantar first memang melalui online Selanjutnya modus perani semua melalui online dulu baru guna sistem post Yang kedua dia yang tanya Oh tapi dia sepatutnya kena beri maklum balas dalam bulan 6, bulan 7 kalau saya tak silap Even with that maklum balas, dia doesn't end there sebab itu scholarship dari BSG BSG ni Blavatnik School of Government So dia scholarship, kalau you tahu daripada Oxford atau any any foreign any foreign universities eh, Dia takkan hanya daripada satu source eh. So dia break it up, dia ada daripada BSG BSG ni macam faculty lah, macam kuliah, eh. kuliah of law bayangkan Lepas tu ada scholarship alumni, tu ada scholarship daripada different corporate body Lepas tu dia campur-campurkan baru boleh dapat the total amount So my total amount yang saya dah maklumkan adalah £70,000 Ini pun boleh cross refer, kalau tak percaya boleh cross refer dengan Oxford University Sebab untuk saya masuk Oxford University Dia kena ada dia ada conditional offer and unconditional offer Conditional offer bila dah dapat fulfill academic requirement Tapi untuk belajar ke luar negara kena unconditional offer untuk dapat unconditional offer tu Kenalah buktikan bahawa status kewangan tu dah stable So kalau tengok just to get into Oxford University To get tuition fees ah, Tak silap 38-39,000 pounds Belum kira living cost expenses Semalam saya dah hantar dekat one of the star journalist I think it's you eh Saya dah hantar dia punya breakdown lah Breakdown tu bukan dari saya tapi daripada Oxford University sendiri So 39,000 something plus living cost I think 17,000 pounds itu tak termasuk visa, tak termasuk flight cost And then any additional cost lah So in total if you combine, it's around 70,000 60 plus thousand, so in total dapat What I got was 70,000 pounds lah uh, Only with that proof <laughs> That's when you'll get the unconditional offer uh, So memang dapat unconditional offer lah Kalau tak, tak dapat student number So kalau ada lagi yang mempertikaikan tu Do me a favor and just go check a University of Oxford They'll come back to you Sebab I heard pun semalam Twitter sini dah reply My student number is over there My offer letter is there Or better contact Ada tiga Malaysian students I can give you their Okay, I tak tahu where I can give you their number But to some media, mungkin okay, terima kasihlah Ada three Malaysian students Yang juga dapat tawaran School of Public Policy Yang mereka pun tahu sepatutnya saya ada di sana Seorang tu bukan bekas pegawai khas uh, Brahman Dalai Cool guy lah, tak ada masalah dengan dia Tapi just to prove lah Kalau ini jadi masalah lagi Um, in terms of when can the final date of postponement be Bila tarikh akhir untuk mengetamatkan isu penangguhan ni Dekat offer letter again you can ask any Malaysian students yang belajar kat luar negara So bila walaupun dia tulis pada 21 September Tapi 21 September tu belum masuk freshest week Sebab ingat eh ni masters first year bukan macam you are in second or third year dah Ni tu ada zero week eh Pada masa yang sama Uh, you are allowed to postpone especially if you are foreign student sebab mungkin ada isu visa mungkin ada isu flight and the rest so over there jadi maklumkan I just have to give information or details of the postponement to Oxford University for that to be accepted so apa yang saya boleh maklumkan maklum balas daripada University Oxford adalah penangguhan tersebut can be for one year untuk satu tahun uh, tapi itu kena perincikan lah kena maklumkan kepada mereka 
Sorry for going to details I have to do that Sebab saya rasa memang Muskil lah Yang agak menjijikkan lah Kalau ada pihak yang sanggup Nak mempolitikkan isu ni I'm not stupid lah to Apa Memainkan isu Oxford ni Sebab This one anyone can check lah Sesiapa pun boleh check Boleh hubungi University Oxford Ini bukan Any random Tengok cakap lah agak lah It's not random you can, Anyone can check uh, Berkenaan status saya di University Oxford Uh, for those who like to 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 challenge it, feel free to contact Oxford University. Uh, I think you'll get your answer there. Kalau ada soalan lain pada rakan-rakan media, saya akan jawab sebaik mungkin. Terima kasih. I can inform. I need to tread lightly ah, so some parts yang. Okay, so there are two parts ah. First part is of my brother and of my father. Okay. The most recent one is of me. Uh. The most recent one. one t- 1.30am in the morning. One, 1.30am. That's the most recent one. It was delivered to your house? Or it's, it's not email. Kalau email tu, I'll, hal- Alhamdulillah boleh terus track senang. But it's from a particular... Phone mana boleh dapat gambar tu? <laughs> It's from a particular app, but I'm not in a position to mention that now, because I'll let the police do it. But it's from a particular app. You can guess lah. But, yeah. So, is it harassment, blackmail, or...? Blackmail. It's very clear. So, as I mentioned before, the first part which I received, which was before the PC, eh, which relates to my father and my brother, that was to ensure that I carry out the PC, umumkan yang saya akan keluar parti, Tak perlu masuk UMNO pun je kan. Keluar parti and then go to Oxford. When you go to Oxford, that's when the payment will come, the benefits will come. So, bila saya tak ikut arahan tu, that's why even after PC, first thing I did, talk to my parents. So, get ready, tu je tak hubungi. No no attempt of contact whatsoever. But not only in the morning, 1.30, 1, 1.30 a.m. Did that come in? Before this, it was primarily targeted to my family. Saya rasa mereka tahu kalau dia dedahkan eh, isu berkenaan ayah dan abang saya, it will backfire. Sebab diorang tak kena mengena sebuah politik. Pada masa yang sama, nampak sangat yang begitu jijik lah politik yang mereka nak mainkan ni. Eh. Um, tetapi impactnya memang, it's my family lah, come on. I mean, personally that will be devastating. Uh, but to me never mind, that's why bila, to me I mean initially when I saw Memang agak menyedihkan <laughs> Tetapi perkara ni kalau tak boleh tempuhi sekarang, bila lagi? Mengenai sogok kandung juta tu Dato' Hamidah dah buat laporan ICRM hmm. uh, Mengatakan bahawa tuduhan tu menuju kepada dia oh, walaupun tidak di um, like Di tahun secara langsung So apa komentar Khalid mengenai laporan ni? few things eh, ada benda yang saya beritahu firstly saya saya harap khususnya eh, uh, Dato' Amidah ambil tindakan undang-undang ke atas saya dia dah ambil, dia dah maklumkan SPRM, saya pun akan pergi ke SPRM kalau SPRM nak tind- apa, maklumat lanjut pun boleh hubungi saya, boleh panggil saya akan, ni separate issue lah Dato' Amidah punya issue few things saya nak mention kepada Dato' Amidah, pertama saya pun, dia, dia tengok tak PC tu I was very precise mode, walaupun saya tak ikut skrip tu, but I was very precise. Saya cakap apa yang dimaklumkan, tawaran-tawaran berbentuk sama yang diberikan kepada, kepada beberapa pengasas parti yang lain. Dato' Amidah, Kamal Zaman, An- Kak Nina. Lepas tu saya khususkan di end, tapi terkait dia terima atau itu merupakan sebab utama mereka keluar, itu saya tidak pasti. Very clear words. Kalau dia nak nafikan dia tak terima, saya cabar je berdepan saya. Dina yang dia tak, yang, yang, sorry Yang dia tak dapat tawaran tu pun Bukan saya saja je beritahu Dia beritahu pucuk ke pimpinan parti Dia beritahu banyak orang tau Dekat majlis pimpinan tertinggi yang tahu benda tu I think saya nak revise balik ceramah-ceramah je Saya ingat je pernah cakap juga I mean, tak masuk akal lah Tiba-tiba sekarang, oh tak ada Tawaran pun tak dapat Sebelum ni bukan main lagi Dalam parti, oh saya dapat tawaran ni, tawaran ni Sekarang nafikan Same tu uh, Kak Nina Kak Nina, tapi dia tak adalah macam Serah sangat saya, saya rasa dia pun tahu sebab dia maklumkan bukan kat saya je Kat pucuk pimpinan tertinggi And the exact amount, 5 juta <laughs> Itu kat Nina lah, Dato' Amidah It's a different story So, bab tu memang 
Tapi yang menyedihkan lah to me to be honest Kenapa yang now on the attack eh? It's the same people who I predict yang Dikatakan Terlibat dengan rangkaian dedak dan ugutan tersebut I don't want it to, to be focused on them I want it to be focused on the group Which wants to destroy my life Bukan isu saya, macam tu yang saya kata kan Pasal saya ni buat, buat lah Saya tak tahu nak telanjangkan apa, buat lah dah banyak dah Tapi my family is out of boundaries lah uh, Dia tak kena mengena pasal saya pun Tapi maklumat tu digunakan untuk menggugut saya It's like they're using something about your mom to get to you huh? Yeah. What you said just now? Yeah. Like using the family members. To oh, no, the we hours yang baru-baru ini pagi ni was about me. Okay. The one before was about my brother and sister. The two phases, right? The one before also important. Right? Yes. When when did the backlash start? Was it in December, like Dr. Hamida said, or? It's not Dr. Hamida. It was Kamal in December. No. Yes. So was that when the blackmail start, started? Uh, no, at that point in time, that was the... Okay, there are different parts of blackmail. Huh? If I go one by one, it'll be really long. Uh, there's a part where it's about my job. Huh? If I don't stop, then I lose my job. So that's the first part. And I lost my job as a part-time lecturer, and then they went after my students to get to me. <coughs> that's the second part. And then there's the part where I mentioned where Kamaru Zaman contacted me when I was in the <coughs> Netherlands. Uh, and then he was saying that I think it's time for me him and Anina to take action to leave. Uh, that one is very clear. And then he implied some other things as well. And there was a follow-up after that. And that's when you see after that, even though he was still in the party, he was absent for quite a long time and then suddenly he left. Um, but the more pernicious threats, I think, was more recent. Uh, but that one, I let, I, I've already given almost full details to the police. Uh, I let them carry out their duty. Later. Earlier, why didn't you watch a report earlier? Oh, so, first thing first is yesterday, in particular, if you notice that I haven't received the personal threats against me yet, I thought it was just done and over. So, I thought just, firstly, I mean the SPRM part is very clear. So, at that point in time, I also needed to talk with my lawyers to get more information about this, especially because I'm thinking like for. <laughs> Because it's not just about, it's not less of a legal issue because what they have upon my family, I think it's not illegal but it's a lot more personal and I'm thinking so I had to talk to the police as now, the special branch because they are experts in, you know, blackmailing cases because I'm thinking, like, will they really want to release information about my parents which I think will definitely backfire on them politically but will personally injure me, are they that, that interested to personally injure me but at their own political expense uh, but the police said I'll leave it I'll, I'll keep it for the time being um, but and then after that once I got everything and it's fairly clear and then the threat came in again at 1.30 in the morning so I think I mean I was already as I mentioned the media I already intend to do a laporan today but that was like the enough is enough how about the 5 million we get offered yeah so that one, SPRM. Let me settle that one first. And with the, it's also linked to the police as well. As I mentioned, there's a reason why I say it's linked Ugutan and Sogokan. Because it comes as a package. Uh, if you don't do it, then there's also a fear tactic. At the same time, there's a reward which comes with it as well. So, 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 Entahlah, saya nak pergi ke SBRM lah. Tapi, seperti yang saya katakan, isu yang bersangkut paut, isu mustahak paling utama adalah isu hutan. So, I have to deal with the police first, lepas tu baru SBRM. So, isu tu pun, ah, apa lah, ulas panjang ni nanti susah pula sekarang. Let me just deal dengan SBRM nanti. Sekejap lah, nanti. Ya, no, no, no. I said lodge police report first. 
police report first and then lodge to SPRM. I haven't lodged the report yet to SPRM, but we'll be doing so. So when will be doing so? After I talk to the police, lah. let me settle this police part and then only after that. Because it's linked to one another as I told you, you know. Ah, kenapa saya tolak? Ya, to be honest, pada peringkat awal Memang saya nak ke University of Oxford eh? Pasal keluar parti tu saya rasa tak perlulah Nak buat pengumuman tu semua Tu saya rasa memang tak perlu Tapi bab bila dah mula ugut My parents dengan abang saya itu dah terlalu personal Tak masuk akal Dia ingat lagi dia ugut lagi saya akan ikut rentak mereka Tapi one thing which I've learned from from my family Lagi dia tekan lagi kita lawan So bila bab dah sampai bab ugutan tu Memang dia ingat Takkanlah saya nak hilang maruah diri je Macam pergi sebab tu Kalau saya pergi with my own moral conscience Saya pergi tak apa ni nak belajar It's not a problem Tapi dah masuk bab ugutan Itu kalau dia boleh buat ugutan tu Bayangkan ugut, ugutan yang akan digunakan kat atas saya Selama-lamanya Untuk penjarakan saya I mean not literally penjara lah Tapi Supaya saya berdiam diri To me that's a tipping point lah Sebab tu pada peringkat awal Bila saya bincang ibu bapa saya pun dengan pucuk pimpinan parti pun banyak pada peringkat awal dah yakin bahawa saya akan melanjutkan pelajaran ke luar negara. Sudah so, Eh tak tak tak, sekarang dah tangguhkan. Sampai bila dia? Dia sampai dia tengoklah dia macam dia tangguhkan dia next year tu boleh tangguh. Ah ha, dia memang dia hanya satu sem bagi satu tahun. So kalau saya nak masuk next sem bulan 10 lah tahun depan. Hmm. Tapi boleh apply itu tangguhkan lagi lah. Uh, what kind of apps are you receive that pictures and who can you identify the sender and uh, yep. if that pictures that photograph uh, reveal a good to the extent to destroying your political career? And that's why I said that part I want to leave it to the police. So It's very. Uh, I leave it to the police. Still yeah. So do you think the people who are uh, like Chan News and your family is the same people who want you to quit the? Yes. Because it's the same modus operandi. <laughs> same modus operandi. Yes. What I've been made to understand is from the same group. It's not just one person. Same, huh? group. same group. It's not just one person. But what I was informed, and even not just now, but even before, for an example, when. What's the name of that guy? Siapa nama pegawai bekas pegawai khas Datuk Sri Mukris? Hari Cemat. Uh. Hari Cemat, Kamaru Zaman. Uh, Exco Exco Amadal sebelum New Rebel, Sri Kandi dan lain It's the same group eh, who have been empowered, given resources To get uh, top leaders of PPBM to defect Especially when election is near And they'll do whatever it takes from threats to uh, From threats to Sogokan lah I just want to add one more thing, I just one final thing Ni pasal Kamru Zaman Sebab tadi dia buat laporan polis kan Dia dulu tu one of the persons who I like lah Tapi Wallahualam berjadi kat dia I remember before this bila dia defect dia keluar Dia kata Oh tak ada pun saya kena ugut I want to challenge him ni eh Sebab ni eh, He knows what I have Dia tahu apa yang saya ada Sebab dia hantar Dia boleh dengar ni kalau Dia hantar melalui whatsapp Dia siap maklumkan saya Sebab masa tu dia kena bash teruk lah Dekat dalam bila dia keluar parti tu Tun, Tan Sri, Datuk Sri panggil dia pengisian anak Semua dia kena teruk Lepas tu Cara dia nak calm us down, dia hantar surat to me Yang menunjukkan bahawa Kementerian Pendidikan Mengugut dia untuk ambil tindakan jika beliau tetap Berdia aktif dalam politik And dia siap suruh Sadiq Sampaikan surat ini kepada Tun Tan Sri Dato' Sri Walaupun dia cakap, oh tak, tak ada kena mengena pun Sama macam sekarang dia kata, sogokan tak ada kena mengena pun Tak ada pun dapat Kalau saya, dia, I'm being very specific eh very specific surat daripada kementerian. So kalau saya salah ni senang ke nak nak saman. Ni sebab dia dah maklumkan benda ni, saya boleh dedahkanlah kepada rakan-rakan media. Yeah, I see sir. I need to ask this if hope not going to offend you. Was was the picture uh, linked in nature uh no charge. I leave it to the police. I'm not in position to comment about it. You can deny. I'm not in position to comment about it. Very politically correct answer lah, but okay. I'm not in a position oh, so to comment about it. The question is, in the day that uh, we call for a press conference and then later Nalini. Nalini? Nalini from uh, uh, PSM. Ah, ah, okay. Swaram, she 
said that um, I mean um, sacrifice can be made. Uh, basically, yeah. Would you like to respond? Yeah. That's to her? that's a fair point from her. Uh, but I like to point out, uh, I think people lost focus on what the PC was about. The PC was not about me announcing that I'm just going to postpone my Oxford studies. Why was the PC, or why did that group specifically instructed for me to do the PC in Sri Pacific Hotel? Ask any of my top leadership, even my Amada youth chief, even my deputy of Amada, even Datuk Sri Mukris and Tan Sri contacted me one day before I was disallowed from picking up any calls. Because eh, they fear that they might influence me to, you know, to not follow the instruction after. They said that they will observe everyone who enters and leaves my house. Do not allow anyone. You know, just in case that they want to influence me as well. So like, the focus actually for that PC was to, for me to take the money, buy, uh, bow down to the threats, leave Malaysia, condemn uh, the opposition coalition, condemn Tun M, specifically Tun M and Datuk Sri Mukris, and then from there onward leave the party. But people forgot that first part, you know, I think we spent so much on the first part and then <laughs> look at the Oxford part. Oxford part is a corollary, is a consequence of that um, network of threats and so go kind. So you feel like now your security is being threatened? Of course, but Alhamdulillah, I mean, I'm very happy, I mean, that just now the, when I met up with the police and the special branch, they assured that they will help me and even when it comes to security, they will assist me the best they can. Because they say on issues like this, that becomes an actual consideration. Um, but I have very good friends around me who have been helping me a lot for the past few days. Um, so inshallah, it should be fine. So we are very satisfied. Yeah, so we are very satisfied. We support our people who are ex-PPDM. We are very satisfied. 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 Sebab dia orang pun dengan bangganya <laughs> Setiap mesyuarat cakap benda tu Dia ni saya dua offer ni, dua offer ni Setiap namakan orang lagi <laughs> Datuk ni, datuk ni, datuk ni Saya rasa okay yeah. if, if this can be the last question, I'm really sorry Because I feel like the meeting is still upstairs How can you confirm there's the same gang of the people? Did they mention their names or any evidence that you found that it's the same people? So, in order for the threat to, if I can just There's something I shared to the police lah it's interconnected because it cannot, for an example, it's really for when they give out one order, you need another time when there's another threat, which is also linked to that as well. So unless, I don't know, it's damn good coordination between different groups, it, is, it cannot be a coincidence that it's linked to one another. And it's often the same modus operandi in executing the threat and also this will go um, So that's why I came to that conclusion. But obviously I'm not the police lah. But that's why I informed the police. So which means the pictures that you received also related to the gang of the peoples or Picture. who helped issue is it? Pictures so which I received is about me and my yeah. It's also linked to each other. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I mentioned, like first one is about me and then the other one is about my father and also my brother. Sorry, just final one, sorry. Just sorry, have to go. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's not like anyone is like holding my phone. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, apologize for the inconvenience, especially I know that traffic will be horrible. Uh, thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Sorry, I'm going to excuse myself.